brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're going to show you how to make your own charcoal. <laughs> and it's uh, real easy to do, unless you've never done it before, all right? All right, so first thing we want to do, get some good hardwood. You always want to use hardwood for your charcoal, right? So we got some red oak here, and we're going to cut them down in even sizes, and then pack it in. A 30 gallon drum right you know what about this a lot of food service drums are about 30 gallon and uh, we're gonna pack it in there evenly right standing up and then we're gonna strap it close now there are vents in this 30 gallon drum right so you want the gases to escape of course while you're doing it. now how do you make charcoal well you sure as hell can't burn it right but because you wouldn't have nothing but ash left over. So this is how you do it. You take your uh, leftover construction 2x4s, pine, right? Some good wood. And you pack it in on the vertical right alongside that 30-gallon drum. And you're going to light it. And uh, here we're using some baking grease. Oh, yeah. It's hard to use it on wood, right? I mean, you want to save that bacon grease. But Hansy here from our Hansy's Pit up there in Canada has some plenty of bacon grease we got ourselves a good fire all right so we need a kiln in other words we need to build a good draft to it as well so we're here we got a makeshift chimney and so we create good ventilation and draft all right it won't take long all you have to do now is kick back and wait. Go through a few sixers maybe, more or less, right? This is good living. Especially you run out of that briquette charcoal you have to go down to the store and pay good money for. Well, hell, make it yourself. <laughs> uh, this is all about good living. Kicking back, shooting the shit, right? Having some cold ones, your good buddy. And it's done what it's cool enough to handle. Get in there, loosen that strap. Oh, man, I'm telling you. We're going to be eating good tonight, Martha, once we get this charcoal fire going. Now, take a look at that. Perfect. You see? You kind of baked that wood, right? Didn't allow any flame to get it, so this is how you end up with charcoal. Plenty of hours of burning right there. Man. Now, of course, uh, don't be an idiot and do this without doing some research, right? But this is basically how it's done. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, I would say uh, Hansie's Pit is going to be making up some steaks. So, the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, Head on over to barbecuepitboys.com. Give us a thumbs up, a shout out. We appreciate your support.